Hey everybody. Here we are on working on the rabbit some more. Uh, I'm starting to find some detail to it, get more of the shape. Using my pictures here as references, kind of follow along with what I'm building. I'm not worried about detail, I'm just worried about getting the basic shape first. Plenty of time for detail after that. Um, I've got the ears started. They're kind of flimsies, but they're sitting off to the side. Got some bottom haunch legs ready to go. Do some more adding of that. Got the top ones kind of made, wrap the newspaper around them. I'll show you how to do that. Let's get that going there. I got some extra clay ready to go. And I'm just gonna kind of go through the process of building everything. And yeah, give you that kind of a look. Still takes some more shaping to do and smoothing it. I'm gonna make it look fuzzy and furry and give it a little tail. It's gonna take some work, but hey, that's what's there for. You really just gotta, I can't stress enough to you guys on this project, if you kind of worry more about the shape and get that proportions correct, the details are really easy to do. In fact, if you do enough good enough shape, you get in the uh, basic shape of the thing, details don't matter as much. Because the shape is there and your eye will fit the and some of that stuff. But you really gotta really work the shape some more. I got some more work to do on this. Cutting apart. What we do is get the basic shape down, get the legs on and all that. I'll we'll probably split this thing apart, pull a bunch of that newspaper out. Cut, maybe cut a section of it out and put it back on after it sits a while. But yeah, we'll go through this and we'll see how far we get today. And I'm gonna do a more montage work in sculpting. And we'll go from there. And like, if you find other things online, better than I'm doing, it makes more sense to you while you're doing your research. Hey, uh, I'm not perfect. I do the best I can what I've learned over the years. So that's what we're doing here. So let's get started. First thing we're talking about is shaping the ears. Um, I have some clay here, pre, I pre-made a couple of them already for my bunny rabbit, so they have to sit and dry. All you do is you cut out a slab in the basic shape of what you want your ear to be. I take it, I'm gonna smooth it over, get my edges a little bit rounder. Um, I can use rib, it does not matter. What you wanna do to kind of round out those, those uh, edges a bit. Okay, so it's nice and round a little bit. And then I take the bottom half, and I look at my pictures I have of my bunny, have them as a reference, and I'm gonna kind of fold them up a little bit, get the desired shape I want it to be. So I'm gonna pinch it, work my hand there a little bit, some of it I will be able to cut off afterwards, and get the basic shape of how I want my ear to be. The bunny rabbit ears and most rabbit ears are not flat, they have some curve to them. So you really wanna think about that shape, that design, what you're trying to make with your ear, and kind of let it sit. And my recommendation, so you get both of them kind of shaped and made. Don't just try to neatly put them on there. You want to uh, let them sit for a while. Let them stiffen up a bit. So they're easier to place on your rabbit. As you can see, I'm trying to get that shape going there like that with my rabbit. So I'm just kind of working it, get the basic shape of it, maybe fold some over, really kind of work the shape of my piece a little bit to get the desired shape I want to here. And then when I attach them on there, when they sit for a little longer, they'll be good to go. And that's kind of how I shape it here. Depending on what kind of ear shape you're making, various different ways of making it. This is how I'm making my one for my bunny rabbit. But pretty much the principle is the same. You can do pinch bowls, you can do uh, uh, all kinds of various things to make your ears. You can slab it, you can coil it, it depends on what kind of shape your ear is. But if you have like a, a dog, a rabbit, something like that, which has got more of that shape of an ear, you want to cut it out and get a shape it, really look at it more. And then really let it sit a little bit so it firms up. All right, and that's making an ear. Now we're making the legs. But I get to, you can make them on a soft clothes, but it's kind of thick. So what I did is I took some newspaper, wrapped around it, and that allows me to get the kind of shape I want it to be, more like that. I'll show you what it looks like on the bunny. Pretty much, you got different sizes here for what I'm doing. You might have to cut them in half. Like I have here this long strip pre-made, and all I do is I take some newspaper, and I kind of just twist it together and feel like a shape I want it to be. And I take my slab of clay, kind of roll it around it, kind of begin to compress it over the top of it, and blend it on down, that's what I'm doing here. So kind of just compress the clay over top, shape it a bit, to kind of know what's happening and what's going on there. And then, now if you look closely, this is way too long. Rabbit's leg, but I leave it open here at the top. The reason why I do that is I want to make sure I can press it on the side of the body. I'll show you that in a minute. What I do is I can come back here with my knife. So I'm going to cut some of this off with the length 
started with my piece right there and that kind of gets my leg started. Then I have another piece, newspaper wrapped around it that I can use for something else. And that kind of gives me an idea for my leg shape. Again, I make all the proportions I need, let them sit and dry a little bit, and then I can begin to shape them by one. That's how you get a newspaper kind of wrapped around your forms. And they stiffen up, you can pull the newspaper out. And then you have the basic shape of what you need your portion to be and stuff like that. And it's pretty much ready to go. Okay, and that's how you get leg started. Now I'm looking at the basic shape of my piece. I'm trying to see how the legs go I made. Positioning, there's a lot of work in this. A lot of going back, looking at images, trying to get everything right is what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm just kind of going through the whole process of it. It's, it takes some time and work. You have to slowly begin to work on it, shape it, cut it, kind of figure out what to do. Every time you do attach something though, I do cut a hole out to attach into, so everything's at a hollow point to attach to. That way it, uh, it will breathe a little bit better and you don't have any like air trapped anywhere. So because everything's going to be at a hollow point. The feet can be solid, but that needs to be have a hollow spot where it joins. Then I'm just going to score and slip together as the video shows. Before I attach the, the leg onto it, I'm going to remove the newspaper from that part of the leg, score and slip it, as you can see as I just talked about, and get it all ready to join on there. I'll be going back, cutting parts out, reshaping, remaneuvering, all that stuff on this project. Just this is kind of a start. I'm now beginning to place one of the feet on there. I just cut a little bit of the leg off. I'm gonna shape the foot. Uh, again, just kind of working, adding some more clay onto it. My rule for you when building these, if you make the feet a little bit bigger, that is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. So if you're gonna make the feet a little bit bigger, you're more than welcome to. I'm just kind of blending, working, and shaping. That's what I'm doing here. I'm trying to find out positioning. Don't forget to cut holes before I add things on. And just use a paddle, shape, blend, get the proportions as best you can try to work the piece as best I can to get the basic shape I want. Uh, do not forget as you're blending everything on to kind of occasionally spray your piece with some water. I do recommend that uh, so you kind of have it so it doesn't mean to dry it on you. And really just kind of keep working the shape as you see here. I'm This is a, a process of putting things on, shaping, and trying to get the positioning correct so it begins to look more and more like a rabbit. Here I'm trying to get the leg shape out more, uh, trying to get the balloon out more so it stands out a little bit more. I'm not going to add like whole legs, almost going to be foot's going to go underneath these. And I'm just kind of pushing it back in, I'm going to put some newspaper back in there, fill in those holes, uh, and be able to close them in that way is what I'm going to do. But I'm just going to get the basic shape, uh, I'm going to put some slabs over it, and just kind of, you know, I'm just kind of looking at it, making everything kind of work the way I want it to. And it has a kind of a feel to it. Once I have the proportions pretty close to where I want everything to be, I'm going to take some slabs of clay. I'm going to go over, and cover up those holes. But first, I'll shove some newspaper in there to get it kind of ready. And then I'll kind of go back in and, uh, yeah, get 
get everything kind of covered up a little bit. That's what I'm doing. So shove some newspaper in there, then score and slip the piece over and kind of blend it, smooth it, use a paddle on it for shaping it. Again, I'm worrying about proportions and shape, not really so much about detail. Occasionally, don't forget to pick your piece up, kind of blend and smooth the bottom half of it because that's important as well to make sure nothing falls off and no cracks are forming or developing. I'm working on here just some basic shaping of the body. Um, I'm trying to scrape away some extra clay, looking at the basic design, uh, stuff like that is what I'm working on here. Uh, I have some extra clay, so I'm just trying to scrape away, give it more of that dimension and shape what the creature needs to be. Uh, I'm working on there. Keep it moist, keep spraying it. I'm not gonna cut the back off, because guess what? I wanna go back in there and uh, pull some of that newspaper out, which is in there. I don't need all that newspaper anymore because clay is starting to get pretty firm. So I'm just going to start yanking all that newspaper out in there and then I'm going to have to smooth the inside of it. Uh, so it'll, nothing will crack, break, or fall apart. I get as much newspaper out as I can. It's not going to be extremely easy to do that, but that's something I definitely want to do. I'm trying to pull all of it out inside the piece and going from there. Now with that giant hole in the back, I can now go back in and kind of push out some of the features I wasn't able to do and work on the shapes a little bit more to give it more of a realistic shape for the rabbit. Um, sometimes I, you have to do this. You got to go back and look at your shapes. They don't look like, you don't want to look like your pieces are stuck on there. They look like they're part of the creature I'm making. So I'm trying to build some shoulders up right now on the rabbit, uh, trying to get some more of the features general shaped out and smoothed out a little bit. Also reworking the legs, the bottom legs, the shape and stuff like that is what I'm trying to do. I have the back end open. It's easy for me to do this clay is still somewhat soft. If you let the clay do begin to get too firm, you cannot do this. So you got to be aware of that. And then once I get the basic shape, I'll go back in and begin to start smoothing it. Any little holes or cracks in the piece as well, um, I can go and fill them in with some clay, kind of blend and smooth them in, go in with that tool and get a smooth the inside. Really kind of work the shape, make sure I have it exactly what it's going to be. Uh, really redefining everything it needs to be. So I'm trying to do here on this rabbit, trying to get the proper right shapes. And like I said, any gaps, cracks, being the pier form, because I have thin spots, I can go from the inside, press some clay in there to make sure those cracks do not show. Do not show. Before I attach. Uh, the back back on I'm gonna join the ears I'm gonna score and slip them on uh, use some vinegar slip kind of blend them on there uh, trying to make sure there's a little bit of a base for me to hold on to I then will also go back at small thin coils around them to help reinforce them a bit as well you can even if you want to inside the of making a rabbit you can't see the inside of the ears I can go back in there and poke holes in there kind of blend the clay up to help reinforce the inside of the ears the good part about by doing that as well by having a little air pockets or air holes inside the ears you can't see them but then again i have to cut, put a hole anywhere else air is going to be able to escape from your clay especially when you make a hollow form remember you got to have some way for the air to escape once i'm done working on the inside of my piece i've got all the shape i need to do i'm going to add the back back onto it so i'm going to cut it off Paddle it back on, score and slip it on, then blend the seams. You can't tell them there. I'm gonna go back in and begin to blend and put the seams back all together. Um, one thing I'm also gonna do is add a tail to the back of it. You need a simple pinch bowl, something like that on there. I'll get a basic shape of it, cut a hole, score and slip it on, let it stiffen up a bit, and then I come back and add some texture to the piece. One 
one thing I've noticed looking at this piece is uh, this is kind of some forethoughts for the future because right now I'm pretty close to being done wrapping it up for the day is the neck of the bunny rabbits too short so I'll probably end up cutting that head off adding a slab to make that neck a little bit longer in size right now the neck to me just seems a little bit too short so it's probably one thing I'll do to it I don't know if I'll have it in the video but it's one thing I'm gonna do to it this is time you really want to kind of look at your desired shape and what you're creating and making um, before you really add details once you're adding details you're done really shaping the rabbit so really really want to make sure everything has kind of a look to it and that you're ready to go with it so I can tell by looking at this piece that's one thing I have to do is make the neck a little bit